Suppose I'm drawing a center rectangle, click on center point and the corner point. And now click on the circular fillet and click on the two uh, corner edges of the rectangle. And an arc is created at the corner and you may also notice that the two reference edges gets untrimmed. To get it trimmed, click on the circular trim fillet and select the two corner edges of the rectangle and you may notice that the corner reference edges gets trimmed whereas in the previous case it gets untrimmed so this is the major difference between the circular fillet and circular trim fillet and now i'm going to explain about the elliptical fillet select the two edges and an elliptical arc is created at the corner and uh, the next command is the elliptical trim fillet. Select the other two corner edges of the rectangle and the uh, it is similar to the circular trim command. The corner reference edges gets trimmed. Now I am going to explain the editing the dimension value of the fillet and uh, I am changing the radius of the fillet to 1. Well, it looks very small so I am going to change it to value to 15 and uh, this is how you edit the dimensions and radius of the fillet and uh, the next command we are going to I am going to explain is the chamfer command so to explain the chamfer I am going to draw the center rectangle as similar to the previous case and uh, now click on the chamfer command and select the two corner edges of the rectangle and the chamfer is created at the corner and the two dimension values are also uh, uh, notified in the graphics area and you can also edit those dimensions from the corner edge you can edit it this is the so called chamfer distance and uh, Next, uh, chamfers and fillets are mainly used for uh, removing the sharp edges in the, of an object. Now I am going to talk about the chamfer trim command. As usual, click on the two corner edges of the rectangle. And here in this case, you, you, did, you may not notice the dimensions from the corner point. So you have to edit the dimensions by your own. So I click on dimensions and click on the two corner points of the chamfer and uh, I want it to be horizontal dimension so press the middle mouse button there and enter the value now I want a vertical dimension click on the two corner edges I want my dimension to be lied here press the middle mouse button and enter the value so this is how you enter the and modify the dimensions value in a chamfer and fill it.